Now move over Veganuary. Right. Get we out of the way, get Veganuary. Out of there. We have been making an extra effort to be healthy all of January. Have but you? It's, well, no, we haven't, no. but we tried to on the show. <laughs> it's, uh, but we're, it's okay to indulge every yeah. now and again. Edward Hayden has a sweet pick uh, this morning. It's triple chocolate brownies. Oh. Good, Good morning, morning to you yeah, both. Well, I must say, you are both showing all the signs of the veganuary and the healthy living. Oh, you are thriving on it. Oh, thriving on it. Two temples over here. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's time for me to knock the temples yeah, oh, this morning. And Tommy break. hasn't stopped talking about this since <laughs> yesterday. Sure. Yeah, well, listen, you know, the secret to survival is played to the crowd, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've got a gorgeous uh, triple chocolate brownie for you this morning, and it's very, very simple. It mightn't look at it. It seems to have an awful lot of stuff. I feel as if I have the kitchen sink here. It's the melting here. of the chocolate and all that. It's the melting of the chocolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take you through it because I need to have some of the bits and pieces done. So here in a kind of a double boiler. Now this is the most important thing always when melting chocolate. If you learn nothing this morning, chocolate can never come in contact with water. So I'm using kind of like a double boiler effect. So I've got a saucepan sitting on a saucepan or use a kind of a glass or a kind of a stainless steel bowl. Something that will conduct the heat uh, really nicely. So in here I have got, I'm going to say it very low, I have eight ounces each of butter and chocolate. Oh, wow. uh, dark chocolate. Butter, 225 ounces grams and I've melted those and those are beautifully be melted. You. Yes, I'm going to turn it off now. You of can. I'll shout, I'll shout louder. <laughs> All my elocution. Now, so what I've got in here is I've got four eggs and eight ounces of brown sugar and I did just turn it on during the ad break just to get it done. And people will be familiar, um, Alan and Tommy, uh, I'm sure you are as well, oh, yeah, uh, with course. what's known as the uh, Sabayon stage or the figure of eight. You stage. hold it over your head. No, no, that's, no, that's your Meringue. That's your meringue. But well, I can hold it, it over your head if you want to, Tommy. This, the, this uh, is okay. where, yeah, this, uh, it's the it's the It's the figure of eight. So people will be familiar that you use the whisk to write the figure of eight on the top of it. Why? You can see. Well, that just will tell you that it's stiff it's, enough or thick enough, you know? But sure, anything, it's, I could do that with, with water. Could well, you not? No. No, the eight will still be there. Look at oh, the eight. Right, okay. The eight is still there when I finish. Ah. And if right, you can yeah. do if you can do that with water, you're that's right. I'm trying to <laughs> understand it. <laughs> He's not that's impossible. Yeah. He's seeking clarity. But now I know. So if the eight is still there, the, the yeah. mixture is ready. This is a gorgeous tin. It's eleven uh, by he's looking at it. It's a gorgeous <laughs> tin. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's eleven by nine. Or you Why could use it. A gorgeous an, tin? It's a beautiful shape for like um, <laughs> lemon drizzle slices, coffee. Right. Slices, chocolate brownies. Take my word, sure, I tell you, you the gospel truth. Cedric, yeah. Listen, I tell yeah. you, you take them where you get them. <laughs> Let me tell you, Tommy. Now, here I've got a little bit of parchment that I've just put across it just like that. Now, then what I'm going to do with this mixture here, I'm going to take this lovely chocolate and butter mixture, which is kind of, it's not cold or not cool, but it's just not boiling um, hot. So I'm going to pour that chocolate oh mixture God, in there just like so. Okay. So that's dark chocolate, milk chocolate. No, and that's what? just dark chocolate. Oh, that's and butter. just dark chocolate. Okay, the milk chocolate is going to go and in a few minutes. Did we hear what was in the mixture? That the, is. Uh, if, that yes, you did. Whiz. You did. Sorry, okay. <laughs> you did. I can I tell was you. Too busy you heard the four eight. eggs and eight ounces of brown okay, sugar. Yeah, uh, in there, I'm going to put a few hazelnuts into a little bag, and then I'm just going to give them a little bash, a small bash. I don't want them to be very broken up. I want them to be kind of uh, rough enough in there. Now, Why so are we putting hazelnuts in the brownies? Because it's a chocolate and hazelnut brownie. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm putting them in it. But if you want to leave them out, leave them out. Do whatever you want. I didn't realise. Was a chocolate. Yeah, no, the hazelnut is lovely. It was a triple chocolate. I mean, yeah. that's got and a bit healthy. Listen, do you want to melt the chocolate now? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. You are being bold with the chocolate. Now, in there, I'm just half mixing in that chocolate and butter mixture. Then I've got three and a half ounces of self-raising flour, or you could use ground almonds uh, there as well if you wanted a gluten-free version. And people okay. might be looking for a gluten-free version. Yeah. And then I'm going to fold this as well. Now, when I'm folding, I always use a metal spoon. Um, for this because it just cuts down through it really nicely. So I'm just doing it a little bit quickly here this morning. And you, you can find that therapeutic now in the kitchen you're doing that. Listen, I don't need me hour off. I'm kind of having a, <laughs> I'm having a ball wellness, here. Wellness, wellness all wellness. Day. Well, listen, in fairness, it is. If you have time for cooking or time to bake, it is very therapeutic. Yeah. When you're trying to do it against the clock, as most yeah. people are and in the evening, and that's when to, yeah. it kind of thinks, oh, Jesus, I have to get the dinner. But no, when you're doing it uh, and you can relax, it's great. Now, when is the key for brownies to have it crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside? Yeah. Is this all down to the mixture? This is all down to the mixture and also the baking time. And I'll talk 
talk to you about that in just a second. So there, I've got the flour almost fully mixed in. Then I've got some um, jar milk chocolate, excuse me, milk chocolate and white chocolate chips. I'm going to pop those in there. And I'm also going to pop in my roughly crushed hazelnuts. Now, if you didn't want to use hazelnuts, you could put in some fresh raspberries in there as well. And they work absolutely gorgeously in there. And just finish off mixing it loosely at that stage and lightly. Now, I've got my tin prepared. I'm going to just do this very quickly for you. I've got my tin prepared. It's going to go into my tin. I have my oven set at 180, which is 350 or gas mark four. I'm going to bake that for about 30 to 35 minutes. When I take it out at that stage, um, Tommy, they'll be like, let's answer your question. There'll be like a mm. tiny little wobble in the center, but persevere and take it out but anyway. How do you know? You just give it a little bit of you wobble. 30 to 35. Well, you can trust my recipe. Of... My recipes are the very same as the Gospels of the Evangelists. <laughs> now, that much I can tell you. So, what do you mean there's a wobble? Like mean, there's a wobble? There'll be a slight little wobble in the center, just like, not jelly like, but just a little shake, and that'll mean that as it continues to cool down, it will continue to cook and set. Right. Now, here is my so brownie, which I've taken out, and then what I've got here is I've got some chocolate and cream mixed together. I'm going to put in a little bit of the cool swan, oh, fire just to give it a little in. bit of uh, a That's nice... It's like a Baileys, is it? It's like a Baileys, an Irish Baileys. I just said there's a Cavan theme this morning. It's Cavan based Cavan as well. everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Now, what I'm going to do is, if you wanted, you could cut the crust off of it, or I'm just going to kind of cut in here, and I'm going to give you a wee little look into the centre. And I want you just to look at the lovely centre of that brownie and look at what I mean about how lovely and gooey mm. it is. Um, and that there's was, hazelnuts in that one then. There's hazelnuts in that one as well. And then I've got my lovely chocolate sauce here. I'm just going to give you a little Ruining it on us. sensation. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it and say it's nice. <laughs> We're both looking at it with triple yeah. chocolate brownies. Now, Who it's absolutely worth it. And I've got oh, the lovely yes. sauce. With ice cream and everything. I have a little bit of ice cream here. Listen, I have yeast spoiled now. I absolutely have yeast spoiled. Oh. I have a little bit of ice cream there. And then I'm just going to give you, you're talking about still being healthy. I'm going to give you a few little raspberries oh, yeah, on the top. That's really going to make the difference. Uh, that'll make all the difference. You're five a day, and I've got a little bit of melted white chocolate oh, there as lads. well. That and if awful. you wanted, just because I do mind you like little bits of gold. Listen, don't forget the chap there in the corner. <laughs> Give him over a bit of brownie. <laughs> <laughs> and he so gag him for the bit of brownie. Oh. And I've got a little bit of cream there as well. So that's your oh, lovely no, chocolate. Hey, we're going to go. We might right, as well go the whole thing. Listen, long. when you're out, you're well, out. You might right. as well do the oh, whole thing. Oh, the ice cream. I'm going to just try the brownie on its own first. Yeah, lovely. Great. Is it delicious? So, the key, because so the inside of that, like it's really soft. It's really nice and soft. And like, believe me, like I made this late last night. Right. So it's not that you have to have it hot from the oven. Now I did put it back in to warm it this morning. But the key thing is follow the recipe, yeah. 30 to 35 minutes, take it out. Even if you think it's underbaked, don't use the skewer. A lot of proficient bakers, you know, are hearing of using the yeah. skewer to, until it comes out clean. You don't want this to come out clean because you, it'll want it to be uh, a little bit. It's not yeah, undercooked. You want it. You want it's not undercooked soft, or anything like that. In the middle, you want it. it to be gooey in a second because it needs to be moorish and indulgent. And then you just let it set. So the, the longer you kind of let it set. Uh, yeah, just let it set. Or you can dish it up straight, you know, within a half an hour when it comes out of the oven. And then, as I said, I just Edward. put this back in this morning. Delish. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, wow. Now, thank you so Beautiful much. Beautiful Edward Head, and thank you very much. We need it.